We're going to take a look at regular polygons and a term called the apothem. The apothem is the popular pronunciation. It can also be pronounced apothem, but for some reason I've stuck with apothem. So parts of a regular polygon. First of all, we need to remember that a regular polygon is regular if all the angles are congruent. And by angles, I mean these little angles at the vertices here and all the sides have to be congruent. If that is not true, it is not a regular polygon. So today we're looking at the area of this type of polygon. Now, one of the things we will be using are adjacent vertices. Because if you were first looking at this polygon, in this case, it's a hexagon, you could almost say, well, maybe I could cut it into two trapezoids, or maybe it'd be easier to cut it into six triangles. So we're going to look more at the triangle part for the area. So when I set the triangle, I'm going to be using adjacent vertices. Adjacent vertices, if uh, adjacent, it would be like consecutive. So they are right next to each other. So if I were to name two vertices that are adjacent here, you see C and B, those are adjacent vertices. E and F would be adjacent. F and B would be adjacent. E and B, see how I'm crossing outside of the edge there? Those are not adjacent, okay? Now I'm going to create a triangle ABC by connecting the center point A with the two adjacent vertices. So this is a triangle that we will be making to find areas. The other thing we need to know about is the radius of a polygon, which is the distance from the center to the corner point, to the vertex, all right? Every radius in a polygon will be congruent, so they're all the same length. In this case, there's the radius. In this case, I've got AC and AB are both radii of this polygon, which means that this triangle ABC is isosceles because AC is congruent to AB. The central angle is also another part we will be using to find area. So what is the central angle? It's basically uh, the angle you create when you connect the vertex to two, I mean the center, to two adjacent vertices. Now if I connected it, you could see that I can connect it with a bunch of them and I'm going to make a bunch of triangles here. That for a pentagon, I could make five triangles. For a hexagon, I could make six. For an octagon, I could make eight. Well, this center area is always 360 degrees. So to find the angle that's created right here, I just take 360 divided by N. That might remind you of a formula we had for exterior angles of a polygon. So the interesting part is that the angle out here is always going to be congruent to our central angle. Not required to know for our lesson today. All right, so finding the central angle here, what I'm going to do is take a look at the triangle uh, CAB. All right, and actually I'm going to connect it not very well because I'm using my mouse. There we go. All right, so there's a triangle, and I'm going to look at angle CAB. So this angle right here. So I'm going to take 360 divided by 5, which gives me 72. Now, because ABC is isosceles, we can find the measure of the two base angles. So this angle right here will be congruent to this angle right here, always. You're always creating an isosceles triangle because the radii are congruent. Remember, this is a slightly different radius than a circle. So I know that this is 72, and these two I'm going to call x. So I could say 72 plus x plus x equals 180. Subtract 72 from both sides, and I get 2x equals 108. Divide everything by 2 to get 54. So each of these measure, angle measures are 54 degrees. Okay? So finding the central angle is actually 72, but you're also it's also handy to find this extra angle down here. All right. Now, the apothem. To find the area of the triangle, um, let's say I just wanted to find this area right here. Well, I need to know the height, and that height is the distance from the center to the midpoint of the edge. Now, remember, we called that the apothem. So um, it is the altitude of the triangle. So in this next video you'll be looking at, I'm going to show you the three basic steps to always finding the apothem 
regardless of which type of uh, polygon you're looking at. We're going to make this triangle with the central angle, split it in half with the apothem, and then use some trigonometry.